My project is on laminar flow wings. In this video, I will be discussing wing geometry terms, the history of laminar flow wings, the engineering aspects of laminar flow wings, and the future uses of laminar flow wings. Critical to standing laminar flow wings are wing geometry terms, mainly chord line. The chord line is the shortest distance between the leading edge of the wing and the trailing edge of the wing. Now on to the history of laminar flow wings. Laminar flow wings were developed in response to a requirement for a wing that had less drag. Laminar flow wings came from a wing design that had nearly symmetrical upper and lower halves. Now on to the historical uses of laminar flow wings. The P-51 of World War II used it. Further, the B-24 bomber of World War II used a laminar flow wing called the Davis wing. And finally, the P-63 of World War II, the King Cobra, used a laminar flow wing. Laminar flow is a theory that fluids act in layers. The bottommost layer, in the case of air, acts as a buffer between the wing and the drag causing higher velocity air above it. Here's a picture of how wings work. They work off a pressure differential in which there is less pressure above the wing than below it and the wing is therefore sucked up into the partial vacuum. Pictured are laminar flow and regular wings. The bottom wing is a laminar flow wing and the top wing is a regular wing. The distance between the two wings occurs at where the maximum thickness of the wing is placed. On a laminar flow wing, this thickness is placed at about 50% along the distance of the cord. Now a regular wing, this thickness is placed at about 25% of the distance along the cord. This different placement of thickness on a laminar flow wing allows that laminar flow to be achieved over more distance of the wing and prevents it from becoming turbulent flow. There are downsides to using laminar flow wings. They require an exacting degree of smoothness along the entire wing to maintain laminar flow. This prevents mass production. To overcome this, the laminar flow wing is painted to a degree of smoothness that is required. Laminar flow wings can be used in the future, like for our new 5th generation and 6th generation fighters coming into service. Maybe even used for helicopter blades, pictured above the helicopter here. Laminar flow can even be used for a submarine's hydroplanes, which control a submarine's dive. That concludes this video on laminar flow wings. In it, we'll discuss wing geometry terms, and the history, engineering aspects, and possible future uses of laminar flow wings. Thank you for watching.